We're going to switch gears. We're going to talk about this year's Rose Parade Queen. She is uh, just a huge inspiration to so many people, and she's really, really passionate about you feel about about how you feel about yourself. Mark Krisky has that story. The 2015 Rose Queen is Madison Triplett. It really just is a blessing and a humbling experience, and I'm just so excited that I get to do it along with my six new sisters. This year's Rose Queen is really a special girl. Madison Triplett, a senior at John Marshall Fundamental High School, balances leadership positions on several organizations, such as the Pasadena City Youth Council, the Black Student Union, and her student government. Well, growing up in Pasadena, you always hear about the Rose Parade. I loved watching the princesses ride down the Colorado Boulevard because they look at they look at you and they smile at you, and you're just like, oh my gosh, that's a princess, like she's royalty. Being a member of the Rose Court is a great honor one that comes with a grueling schedule of events and community service, in addition to their normal school work and other activities. Our job as ambassadors of the Tournament of Roses is to bring joy and cheer to the faces of our community and just make, make days better. And to have these young ladies bring that compassion and spirit to our patients really lifts them at this time of year. Even in the rain and during a power outage, the Royal Court never wavers on their commitment to the community. Visiting the Arroyo Elementary School to help judge the fifth grader state float parade. That was really well done. Oh, nice job, nice job, bud. That is cool. Wow. I really liked your one. It. it was really cool because I've never met one before, and she gave me a little sticker. But Madison's day doesn't end there. She hurries back to the tournament house for the Queen's luncheon. 1985, I think about you in my speech. Do you really? Madison understands that in her role as the Rose Queen here in the city of Pasadena, that there are many girls who looks up to her, and she's really proud of that, and she gets that. She wants to represent the tournament, her city, her church, and her family well. Madison plans to attend college in Kalamazoo, where she'll major in economics. Her goal is to become a CFO and to start a nonprofit organization to educate minorities on financial literacy. This is quite a goal, one that she is very passionate about. Just like there is an achievement gap in our educational system, I think that the, there is the same gap in financial literacy. So my uh, my nonprofit will fill that gap. And her advice to young women? Do what you want to do. Like, try new things and get involved in school because maybe you'll go to a meeting one day just like I did and someone will inspire you to do something or become something. And we are thrilled now to be joined by uh, Madison Triplett, the queen and her court. Welcome, ladies. Good Happy morning. Happy New Year. Hey, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Kathy, what do you think? Well, you know what? I feel a little ridiculous. You all look beautiful, and you don't look cold, and we're dressed like we're ready for the Winter Olympics. So <laughs> I'm guessing that poise was a part of the competition. What led up to this whole journey to get right to this point, Madison? We have attended over 100 events within the... The, the three months, but it all started with a 15 second interview of saying why we wanted to be on the court. And what did you say? I said something like, I want to be on the court so that I can have a sisterhood that will last, last a lifetime, and I definitely do with my six Aww. new sisters. It's so true because Kathleen was just saying a moment ago, many of you didn't know each other before this, and now you all do act like sisters. You, it seems <laughs> like you're so close. You've been all giggling all morning. How, how does that happen? Well, it's refreshing to see that seven strangers, well, mostly strangers, can come together and be best friends instantly. Yeah. Um, we've spent a lot of time together with, for the three months, so we bonded extremely well. Well, well we, we, we don't want to make a royal blunder, right? So we want you to introduce your court, yes. all these lovely ladies. And I'm going to step out of the way over here so you, they get a full view. Okay, of course. Okay, first we have Princess Bergen Onifer, <laughs> Princess Simona Shaw, Princess Gabrielle Current. We're judging all of your waves. <laughs> Princess Mackenzie Byers, Princess Veronica Mejia, and Princess Emily Stoker. Oh, they're all winners to me. <laughs> oh, without a doubt. And very accomplished women to get to this point, by the way, from academic achievement to public speaking. So congratulations and have a wonderful 2015. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Have thank a you wonderful much. day. All right, let's, uh, as we throw to Mark, let's go ahead and, and all do the wave. Mark, over to you. All right, and uh, coming up, we're going to meet the new bachelor. Hey, by the way, do we have anybody who's hungry here? Anybody? Well, we're going to feed some of these people. You are watching Backstage at the Parade, live from Pasadena.